Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I am happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So this video is inspired by my series of astrological videos that I'm sharing at the moment. So one of these videos and maybe others to come, you know, will trigger other people like this one video triggered a few people and basically i guess me sharing my experience made some people feel attacked me sharing my experience and perspective made some people feel attacked so because they felt attacked then basically unknowingly or knowingly they attacked me back in the comments and i thought for them that this was an awesome learning experience an opportunity for personal transformation because when we're triggered basically that triggering you know that thing that we think offends us or that's getting our attention really is like i've mentioned in other videos pain is a bookmark that holds space for our transformation so basically that is getting their attention so they could dive deeper within themselves to see you know what within them wants their attention so it could be released that energy could be released but i realized that i myself too was triggered from them responding to me in the comments in a way that basically in a way that wasn't in aligned with how i thought the response should be so i took this as an opportunity for me to go within myself and see what within me needs rectifying, what within me needs my attention, why I was triggered. Because a lot of the times, like people will share things in the comments, some people will be disrespectful and say certain things and I'll just laugh, I'll think it's funny. I have like a weird, childish sometimes sense of humor. And I think it's hilarious, you know, like in one of the Scorpio videos, someone just said some crazy things about Scorpios and with me being a Scorpio, like because I didn't identify with what they said, I didn't, I didn't take offense to it. I thought it was funny. And, you know, I told them thanks for sharing because I appreciate you guys commenting, you know, whether you're thumbsing up or thumbsing down the videos, it's supporting the channel. So basically for me to be triggered by, you know, the people commenting and responding to what I said in this video, basically, you know, pointed out that something within me needed my attention. So, you know, I slept on it. I tried to meditate it on, meditate on it yesterday, slept on it, and then woke up this morning and decided to do some journaling because journaling is super helpful, you guys. Like basically whatever, whenever you feel something unsettling within you, just sit down and write and know that when you're writing and expressing yourself, and I don't mean writing in a poetic way. It's like you're talking to a friend. You know, for me, I'm talking to the creator i write and it normally comes out it normally reveals itself so basically i was triggered because deep down even though i do the work like there's still a strong part of me that is a big people pleaser and being an empath like you know from the very beginning of time being able to feel other people's energy so intensely when you piss people off you feel the turbulence that they're going through it's like it's important for other people to feel good so that you can feel good but over time i've uh, i've identified that within myself and and settled or got used to the idea that it is way better to feel uncomfortable in a moment you know, of saying no or standing in my truth than to feel resentful long term because I didn't stand in my truth. And 
you know, so this morning while journaling, I thought to myself, like, what? well, before journaling, so I responded to one of the comments yesterday. I responded to all of them because I, I like responding to you guys. So I responded to the comments, but after I rewatched the video and I was happy with everything I said, I wouldn't have said anything different. So in that moment, and what I also learned from that moment is, you know, don't be so quick to get pulled into other people's storm because as humans, a lot of the times we're triggered and emotionally responding to something when really that's just a trigger for something else. But at the same time, I'm glad I responded. So this morning I woke up and I felt like that energy was still sitting within me unresolved. And I know before I did my yoga or meditation, I needed a journal about it, get it out because the whole time I'm doing my yoga and my meditation, I'm going to be thinking about it. So, you know, basically I wouldn't do anything different because like basically I had to ask myself you know when it comes to me getting to the bottom of the people pleasing thing that I'm releasing because it's beneficial to no one and for the longest I used to feel the need to like escape people in situations when the same thing would follow me over and over again because it wasn't others it was me and now that I set boundaries and you know stand up for what i believe in those things don't happen anymore or rarely and when they do i address them so basically in the journaling i basically re i reminded myself that you know the our intentions like i've heard oprah say from a book she read the seed of the soul our intentions determine the outcome of every situation so whenever i'm expressing myself here on youtube or sharing whatever it is that i'm sharing I constantly ask myself, what is my intentions? And as long as my intentions are good, basically the outcome will be good, even if it's challenging and I can't see where it's taking me. Like, you know, the outcome of that situation brought me to a place of transformation where I was able to rectify something within myself. But after sitting and journaling, I came to the conclusion that yes, I will continue expressing my truth and my truth doesn't have to be your truth i'll share something here in the videos that you know about a personality trait that you might not agree with you might not unify with you know and if you don't you dust it off that's the same thing like when people say crazy things in the comments about certain you know placements that i might have i laugh it off because i don't identify with that and whenever i'm offended that's an opportunity for me to dive deep within myself and see like you know what within me needs my attention so from me sitting down and journaling i reminded myself that yes my intentions is all that matters and it is important for me to continue speaking my truth and again my truth doesn't have to be yours and it is important for me to express my truth because my truth might inspire and empower others to you know to be confident about their own truths and i'd rather speak my truth and piss people off than to be a people pleaser and win over people that I probably wouldn't like in the first place because I'm not genuinely connecting with them from a place of personal truth. So I might be connecting with their truth, but they're not connecting with my truth. And that's far more important. So it's important for you to, you know, check your into your intentions at all times and express your truth and know that your truth at times will trigger others. And if it does, that's their responsibility to get to the bottom of it. And when you are triggered, it's your responsibility to get to the bottom of it. And a way of getting to the bottom of it, like I mentioned, is observing yourself and seeing what is this triggering feeling trying to teach me. And then sitting down and journaling and letting it all come out. Because once we are aware of something, we can become a witness of it. And once we are witnessing things within ourselves, they no longer take control over us. And, you know, for me personally, like I am Venus, I have Venus as the most dominant planet within my chart. And then Jupiter, you know, I like to expand my mind. That's important. And with Venus being the most dominant planet, Venus is a relationship oriented planet. And this is where, you know, it is important for me to have balance and not liking to upset people, which also probably contributes to the whole 
people pleasing thing because it's important to create balance and having libra in the second house i value balance and sometimes that energy again can put the needs and desires of everyone else and put themselves last in order to keep balance you know so everything that happened helped me to go within myself and see you know what needs adjusting because putting yourself out there and creating content where everyone can pick you apart and have an opinion it can be super stressful at times you know like my moon and leo loves it you know and our moon energy needs to be nurtured and my leo moon is nurtured by me coming out here and ex and creatively expressing myself to you guys where my son and Scorpio and stellium and Scorpio hates it you know hates like putting myself out there um, and my Virgo rising that feels the need to have everything perfect also is annoyed at the idea that I could be wrong when it comes to what I'm saying but I've learned that no you can't be wrong as long as you're speaking your truth. Some will resonate and others will not, and that's okay, it's your truth. And then my Aquarius in the sixth house likes to be detached, doesn't want to be responsible. You know, so this is where I go within myself and I create a balance where all these energies can work together and my moon energy could be nurtured and get what it needs and let my sun Scorpio energy knows that based Basically, the need to be so private is an insecurity and what is there to be afraid of. And I remind myself that, you know, there is nothing to be afraid of. Basically, there is nothing to hide, you know, when it comes to expressing myself, sharing my views, how others see it is how they see it. And what helps my Virgo rising is years ago when I came to the realization that collectively as humans, we cannot get together and agree upon who we are, what we are, where we came from, where we're going or what's next. And because collectively as a human race, we cannot come together and agree, agree upon that. It makes, it makes sense to me that no one really knows anything. So because no one knows anything, I cannot be wrong and I cannot be right. It is just my truth. So I encourage you guys to speak your truth and don't let the need for perfection or people pleasing stop you from expressing yourself and speaking your truth because basically that's only going to create imbalance within your body when you're not speaking your truth you're you're throwing off your throat chakra and our throat chakra has to do with our thyroid glands and our hormones and you know our hair growing healthy our nails growing healthy and, and just other things within our body like a system all things needs to be flowing so it comes down to our intentions what is your intentions and then you know after your intentions like is it a, does whatever it is that i need to express can it be helpful is it necessary and once you give yourself the green light trust yourself and know that regardless of the outcome you know it'll always work out for your greater good because the our intentions determines the outcome of every situation and it took me such a long time to get on youtube and grow and even though i've been on here and i've made so many videos i still believe that you know certain programs are playing in the background that is causing me to limit myself because even though my leo energy uh, loves what i'm doing there's other energies that fears the attention even though i'm putting myself out there there's other energies that fears the consequences of the attention because yesterday with the back and forth in the comments really no back and forth me saying thank you for sharing because i appreciate you guys sharing and expressing myself more you know if i feel like i need to a part of me is asking myself are you sure you want this and my leo moon is like yes you know the big kid i want to express myself i want to share and then i had to address the other parts of me that fears basically the out basically fears the negative response that comes to putting yourself out there like my virgo fears being wrong or imperfect even though perfection is an insecurity because for something to be perfect you must be comparing it to something else and there's no such thing as perfection everything is imperfectly perfect you know and then my scorpio wanting to be private and my aquarius energy that wants to help but at the same time want to say man fuck that i don't want to be bothered i don't want to 
I don't want to respond. I don't want to connect. You know, it's like an orchestra and me navigating and balancing everything. And, you know, that's why self-awareness is a superpower. Us recognizing these different energies that are taking place within ourselves, bringing our attention to it, creating a balance where all the energies are fed and satisfied to where they don't get in the way of each other. So you guys, I'm going to end this video here so I could get in my morning routine, start doing my yoga and meditation like I always do. But I felt like if I didn't make this video, it would have basically get in the way of my yoga and my meditation because I would have been here trying to think about, okay, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that where I just sat here and I just rant and got it all out. And now I'm ready to get it in. If you guys are here with me, I would um, I would love to, to, to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a green heart or a blue heart in the comment box below. Either way, I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.